If you saw the last children and youth service on Sunday, you'll have seen several members of the church family running races, obviously having great fun and enjoying competing in a light-hearted way against one another. We are all in a race, a race of life. I was reminded that as an eight-year-old, when I was picked to run a race for the primary school I was at against another primary school, I was doing really well at the front and then suddenly it all went wrong. When I got to the end, I said to the teacher, I'm sorry I didn't win. And he said to me, you lost not because you didn't run fast enough, but because you looked back. I learned the hard way as well that if you look down at your feet while you're running, you fall over. In the film Chariots of Fire, Eric Liddell runs with his head up, looking upwards and onwards. And I was reminded that in our race of life, as we go through fixing our eyes on Jesus ahead of us, looking upwards to God, we can run like that. In 1 Corinthians, Paul reminds us that we are taking part in a race. We are all runners. We're all running for a prize. And he reminds those he's writing to, to run in such a way as to get that prize. Our prize is our relationship with God through Jesus. Paul says everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. These days are a kind of training. They're helping us learn patience. I know I don't find that very easy. They're helping us learn how to encourage one another. They're helping us to learn new skills and technology, how to Zoom and Skype and FaceTime and all the other things that maybe we've been putting off for a while. But we do it as we run with our eyes fixed on Jesus. We race because we have a crown that will last forever. It's not a temporary prize. It's not just something like a sticker at the end of a sports day race, something that will fall off and get lost. We run because the prize we are striving for is worth having. That relationship with Jesus is something that helps us to keep on running. And when we look onwards and upwards, keeping our eyes fixed on our finishing line, our life with him that will be in the time to come. And when we look upwards to God for our help, then we will keep on running and we will win our race. We will not be disqualified from the prize. So let's keep on running. Let's remember in these days when it can be hard not to look downwards at the things that would trip us up, not to look back at the things that have been, but to look forward with hope to the future with Jesus and to look upward to God, who will lift us up on wings like eagles and give us feet that run swiftly through these days.